there are advantages and disadvantages to trading CFDs. Investors who want to start trading CFDs need to completely understand them as a mechanism before trading. CFDs are traded on margin. You only put up a percentage of the trade as collateral based on requirements set by your CFD provider. Therefore, you can trade a position on a stock – other asset classes can be traded via CFDs too – without actually owning it as an asset. Trading on margin means that as an investor you rarely have to put up the entire cost of a trade, as you would with a stock investment. You are required to maintain a certain amount of margin in your account, as defined by your CFD provider, but it's a fraction of the cost of buying stocks outright. Here's an example. If you wanted to buy five shares of company XYZ at $200, you would have to pay $1,000. But if you bought five XYZ CFDs at $200 and the margin was 5%, the outlay would only be $50. Any increases in the price would therefore be a 20 times return on the invested capital but potentially losses could be just as dramatic. CFDs can be traded on a variety of assets and instruments from one account. This means you can set up a diversified portfolio covering many different markets and have access to much wider trading options. Stocks, indices, commodities, sectors, the list goes on. A CFD is an attractive alternative to other financial vehicles. CFDs therefore allow you to explore many alternative options. Also, many underlying assets, i.e. what a CFD follows, are traded around the clock, and with the ability to place sophisticated automated trades – sell this CFD at this price or at this time – the risk of an overnight position can be reduced. You can trade a CFD to benefit from a falling price or market. For example, you might have concerns about buying individual stocks. Therefore, instead of buying stocks, you could use CFDs to short a particular stock, or even the index, and therefore gain potential profits from a falling market. CFDs are a mechanism that allow you to be an active, engaged trader, whatever the market conditions or your strategies. CFDs can appear attractive, but there are potential pitfalls and issues that you need to be aware of. CFDs can also have regional benefits, or in some cases, be banned. For example, in the UK, as you never own the asset, your CFD is not liable to stamp duty. Conversely, if you're an investor in certain parts of the world, CFDs are not a product you can purchase. Many CFD guides present the concept as an extremely cost-effective method of trading. And they can be, but it is essential that you're aware of the entire process, i.e. all of the costs associated with CFDs. For example, the cost of paying the spread on the entry purchase and exit sale can rule out any profits that have been made if there have only been small movements in the price of the underlying asset. The CFD industry itself is not a highly regulated environment. It isn't standardised. Therefore, any trades you make should be with a reputable company with a sound financial history and position. Look carefully into which brokers suit your needs. CFDs also have the benefit of being able to add a stop loss. This is an automatic mechanism whereby you can exit the CFD at a chosen point before your losses pass a certain level. CFDs are also a transparent mechanism. They are closely related to the buying and selling of stocks and one stock usually equals one CFD. Whilst the process isn't complicated, like any financial product, it is still worth researching CFDs before you trade. Leverage is a fantastic way of making your money work harder, but there are two sides to leveraged trading. Whilst profits can be amplified due to a potentially small minimum outlay, remember that the smaller the initial margin, the higher the leverage. Therefore, losses are magnified in the same way. Be aware that you're liable to pay losses incurred based on that leverage, 
something that is never encountered with stock trading. The leverage level can also be open to change by the CFD provider, and therefore the investor may need to add additional funds. And CFDs are easily accessed via a relatively low entry point financially, therefore it can lead to over-trading. The use of CFDs must meet your financial requirements and strategies before you enter into this type of trading. In summary, CFDs provide the benefits of share trading without having to tie up capital as they're purchased on margin. But remember, this leverage can have implications both ways. Potential profits and losses are amplified.